Hey there, how you doing? Okay, I'm fine. Thank you very much for asking as well. Thanks for coming back. So today I'm gonna to be telling you about seven gestures that make women feel really loved. I'm more than excited to share these things with you. And these are things that you can actually practice on a daily basis to make the women in your life feel loved, taken care of, and special. Now these could be women that you're actually dating or a woman that maybe you sorta of, kinda of really like and want to show that you actually care. And so if you're here looking for ideas on how to make the women in your life feel special, this is the perfect video for you. My name is Jessica. I'll be right back. Hello there, my name is Jessica. You're welcome back to my channel. So if this is the first time you're watching any of my videos, I'd like to welcome you to a big happy family. We like it here and truth lives on this channel. Now in this video, as I already promised, I'm gonna be giving you seven things that make women feel really loved, okay? Seven gestures that make women feel really loved. And so feel free to save this video in your favorites and come back to it anytime you need to do a little refresher. But I'm about to spill certain things that you can do really to get into the good books of the women in your life. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button and do subscribe if you haven't already as that really helps my channel to grow and I'll appreciate the support through and through. Plus, if you have ideas on how you can get women to feel really loved, please, by all means, drop it in the comments below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this one. Now let's jump right in to gesture number one. Now, number one is gonna sound old school to a lot of people, but that's why it's gonna be special because you're actually gonna to have to take your time and think through this to execute it. And I'm talking about handwritten love letters. So we live in 2021 or whatever time you're watching this video. And the truth is we have technology at our fingertips. With a touch of a button, you can send a message to anyone at any place or location in the world. This was a luxury that many years ago did not exist. You would write a letter and it would take some two weeks or more to get to the person that you know was intended for. Now, why are handwritten love letters a big deal? I'll tell you something. So it's more about the effort that you make, the effort that goes into penning down your words. Now, if you're like me, you've probably gotten to that point where you hate to write because you'd rather just type it on a computer or type it on your phone and that kind of thing and you're good to go. A lot of people don't use pens these days, unless of course, you know, you're in certain industries that require it. And so to think that a guy or, you know, someone in your life has actually taken time out to put down a note, and I'm not saying write like a full scab sheet of words, but you know, just a cute little note, say, hey babe, I'm thinking about you, I missed you today. So I just thought I'd write it down so my thoughts could be permanent on paper, you know. Um, that would be nice. That would be something nice that you could, you could, you know, say to your woman. So if you want to impress her, if you want to, you know, make her feel loved, that's one of the ways to do it. And I remember my ex-boyfriend used to do that a lot. And that was one of the reasons why I really, really liked him. He would write me these cute little notes and I'd find them in like the weirdest places. And I didn't know any guy who would do that. So the fact that he was going out of his way just to pull that off for me was a really big deal. And it made him stand out from everybody else that I dated, even though it was a very um, simple act of love, all right? Number two, gesture number two is all about really caring about, you know, your woman's day and how it went. So we take a lot of these things for granted, you know, because like you both probably are working, everybody has, you know, the hustles that they went through during the day. And it's nice to just be able to catch up with your woman and say, hey, um, babe, how was your day? you know, how did it go? Were you productive today? You know, what happened? Is there anything I'm missing? You know, something I need to know. And I'm not saying just ask for asking sake, because people can tell when it's almost sounding like a routine. It's something you have to do. And that's why you're doing it, right? As opposed to actually being genuinely interested in, you know, how her day went. You know, genuine concern for how a person's day went could mean a lot especially if the person's day didn't go so well, at least they will know, oh, this guy cares enough about me to be concerned enough to find out whether my day was as good as his, or I even had a better day than him, you know? So it's, it's a really nice gesture that I think a lot of men need to do more of. Number three. 
Number three is physical affection. And I'm not even talking about intimacy per se, you know, um, but you know, those little things where you reach out and you physically touch this person that you care so much about. And please make sure it's someone who actually wants to be touched so you don't come across as, um, you know, harassing the person. So I guess what I'm really trying to say is this, there are people whose love language, for instance, is in touch. They like the intimacy on whatever level, um, be it like going the whole way to actually engage or, you know, just the simple touch, the simple um, playing with their hair or just even massaging a woman's feet, you know, and she could be doing the same for you as well. You know, give her a nice foot rub, especially if you see that she's had like, you know, a really tough day it won't take anything from you. In actual fact, it will help you score points. So relaxing physical attention, you know, goes a long way to making the person in your life actually feel loved. Everybody in some kind of level wants to feel that physical connection. And when you reach out and touch them in ways that they find pleasing, you actually will be adding up to that feeling of affection. So number four is remembering the details. So science has told us that people on average hear about 30,000 to 40,000 words a day. And of all the words that they hear, they only retain about 17 to 25% of those words. And so if someone actually goes out of their way to remember details about things that you have told them, things that matter to them, you would definitely be scoring points there. So as opposed to being this dismissive person or someone who can't wait for them to finish talking so you can get a word in, if you begin to be that guy who is actually paying attention to the small details, you know, when women realize that you actually pay attention to details, they're flattered, you know, and, and they like that kind of thing. And it, it, you come across as a guy who actually cares about them. And at the end of the day, that's the kind of effect that you want to have on this woman that you really, um, love are in a relationship with, or are in a good friendship with, hoping to develop into something else. If you don't know what her birthday is, when she says it, just grab your phone, put it in your calendar, set a reminder for every single year. It's pretty much that simple. And you know, because of technology, these things are easier to pull off. Number five, random surprises. Random surprises is my number five point. You know, those oh, I just saw this and thought of you kind of thing is a really, really sweet gesture. You know, I have this friend who does this so well. And if he's watching this video, he will know that he's the one I'm talking about. Like he knows I like a certain brand of chocolate, right? So whenever he goes out, I mean, he's, it's not like he's looking out to buy chocolate for me, but if he should come across that brand, say it at a convenience store or some other place, next thing I know, he sent me a picture. He's like, I'm coming over, I'm bringing you your favorite chocolate, right? I haven't asked him for it. I'm not expecting him to be there, but he is. And he may not say so in so many words, but through those little gestures, I just know that, hey, this is a guy who really likes me. This is a guy who, who looks out for my interests. And this is a guy I can actually rely on to be there for me when I really need him. Um, and so, you know, just do those random surprises. And it doesn't have to be like an expensive gift, you know. You could even just randomly bring her something... She mentioned that she would like to try. It could be food from a restaurant that she's always been talking about. That's a really cool gesture. So I guess what I'm really trying to say is you can really make a woman's day with an out of the blue gift. Plus it's not just good for her in terms of how she's gonna start feeling about you, but it's also good for you because random acts of kindness um, do make people feel good. You know, if you're able to make, put a smile on someone's face, obviously that makes you feel better about yourself as well. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Make her feel included. Okay. Now it's very easy to sort of, um, treat yourself as an individual, which of course you are, you know, but doing selfish acts where, you know, this is, this is me, this is my family. These are my friends. I don't want to share. Now, once you're able to bring the woman in your life into your space and make her feel like, look, what is mine is yours. My family is your family. My friends are your friends. It makes 
a whole world of difference. And it makes a big statement to her that you are actually that person she can go to, she can speak to, she can rely on if anything happens. And reliability and love actually are close cousins, right? And so you want to be that person who makes her feel included, makes her feel a part of your life. Now take note though, that this has to be done when you are super sure that this woman actually wants to be a part of your life. So it's not like you're being forced to fit into this box that you don't want to be a part of. And finally expressing concern for her safety. And I know that guys, a lot of guys already do that, you know, where, you know, if you go out together, maybe for drinks, for dinner, um, probably you'd end the night by saying, Hey, let me know when you get home, you know? And sometimes it doesn't even happen in heterosexual relationships. It can be regular same sex friendships where, you know, you hang out for the night, you'll just put it on the group. Hey, ladies, let me know when everybody gets home. It's a way to let them feel like, Oh, you actually care, um, to know that I'm home and safe and sound. Like, I know some people complain about this, right? But it's not like you're trying to keep tabs on, um, the person you're dating or this person you're in a really good friendship with, you know, it's just more out of concern, you know, Oh, let me know when you get to work. Oh, let me know when you get home. Um, let me know when you get to your destination. You know, it's just a way of like, okay, um, I'm thinking about you. I want you to get to your destination safely. And this isn't even a point that I need to drag because it's, it, it comes naturally to a lot of people. But if you're watching this video and this is not something that you do, you can begin to pick up this gesture as it will help you build more solid, meaningful relationships wherever you find yourself. So seven tips for you today on my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, if you enjoyed the video, please do your girl a favor, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications so you get a notification every single time I post. Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode.